Howdy, kid. Rare to go? Let's go. Okay, blast off. Today, we're going to explore the planet closest to the sun, Mercury. Now, here's today's first question. For two points, what size is Mercury compared to Earth? Is Mercury bigger than Earth, or is it smaller, or is it the same size as Earth? Smaller. It's smaller. You got it. Two points. Okay, here's the next one now for four points. The surface of Mercury is dotted with round pits. What are they called? I'll give you a hint, kid. The moon has the same kind of pits. Craters. Craters, right again. Four more points. Last one now for seven points. Mercury lacks two important things necessary for life. What are they? Good work, kid. You got them both. Air and water. That's another seven points for your score. Thirteen points today. Hey, keep up the good work. You ready to fly, kid? Ready. Okay, let's head for the sky. Today, we're going to take a close look at the second planet from the Sun, Venus. Now, for two points, what size is Venus compared to Earth? Is Venus smaller than Earth, or is it bigger, or is it about the same size as Earth? Smaller. Smaller. You got it. Two points. You're off to a great start today, kid. Let's see if you can keep it going. Venus is wrapped in a thick layer of clouds, and while Earth's atmosphere has oxygen that we all must breathe, what poisonous gas fills the atmosphere of Venus? Now, this is a hard question, so I'll give you nine points for the right answer. Is the atmosphere of Venus filled with nitrogen, helium, carbon dioxide, or hydrogen? Carbon dioxide, that's right, kid. And that gives you nine points, plus the two points for the first answer, so that's 11 points. This is fun. Nice flying, kid. Take her in on the solar system. Okay, now head for the third planet out from the sun, the blue and white one. A quick quiz. Which planet is this? That's easy. Earth. You're right, kid. Earth. That was too easy, though. Only one point. Go in closer now. Let's get a better look at Earth. Earth is a blue planet because three-quarters of its surface is covered by liquid. Now, for two points, what liquid is it? Water. Here's sharp today, kid. Water. Two more points. You know, kid, Earth is very unique. It's the only planet in our solar system where conditions are right for supporting one important thing. And I'll give you ten points if you can tell me what it is. That's right, kid. Life. You see, Earth is the only planet we know of so far where life exists. Take 10 points. And that's 13 points for today. Not bad, kid. Uh, kid? Kid! Yep, Earth's a mighty pretty sight from up here, isn't it? It's beautiful. Closer, kid. I want to show you something. You see that faint glow surrounding the Earth? Well, it's caused by a thin layer of gases that allow the planet to support life. For four points, what do we call this gaseous layer? Atmosphere. Atmosphere. Correct. Four points. 
Okay, now here's a tricky one for seven points. What gas do we find more of in the Earth's atmosphere than any other? Is it oxygen, nitrogen, or hydrogen? Gotcha, kid. Thought you had that one in the bag, didn't you? Oxygen is what we all need to breathe, but there's not as much of it in the Earth's atmosphere as there is of another gas. Nitrogen. So you only earned four points today. Oh, cheer up, kid. You'll do better tomorrow. Remember, nobody's perfect. That's true. You see, kid, the ancient Greeks spent a lot of time watching the stars, and they imagined that they could see the outlines of various heroes and animals in the constellations. One of these was a famous hunter. For five points, can you tell me the name of this mighty hunter? Orion. Orion, that's correct. Five points. Another constellation is named for a lion. For five more points, what is it called? Here's a clue. It's one of the constellations of the zodiac. Leo, that's the lion's name. Five more points. A third constellation is named after a mythical winged horse. For five more points, what was the horse's name? Pegasus, right again. You're three for three, kid, at five points each. So what's your total? Fifteen. Fifteen points. What a score. Set a course for Earth, kid. Now, as you can see, kid, the surface of Earth is covered by oceans separating large land masses. Can you name each of them? You'll get two points for every correct answer. Here goes. North America, Europe, Asia, Australia, South America, Africa. Hey, you got every one of them right. Two points times six correct answers is 12 points. You're off to a great start today, kid. Let's see if you can keep it going. There's the equator, which divides Earth into two equal parts. Now, for three points, what do we call the half of Earth that lies north of the equator? Northern Hemisphere. The Northern Hemisphere. That's right, and you got 15 points now. You can add three more points if you get this one right. What's the name of the half of Earth that lies south of the equator? Southern Hemisphere. The Southern Hemisphere, right again. Three more points. 18 points. All I can say, kid, is when you're hot, you're really hot. Got your thinking cap on today, kid? Yes. This computerized screen will allow us to study how Earth's movements around the sun affect life on our planet's surface. Here's Earth orbiting the sun. Remember, it takes one year for Earth to go all the way around once. As Earth travels around the sun, we experience four different parts of the year. Now, for three points, what do we call these parts each three months long? Seasons, absolutely right. Three points. Now, because Earth is tilted on an axis, the amount of sunlight we get varies over the course of the year. When the northern hemisphere is tilted most directly toward the sun, what season is it? If you get it right, I'll give you three more points. Summer. 
Yep, summer. And here's a companion question for another three points. When Earth's northern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun, what season is it? Winter. Winter, that's it. And you were right both times, so add six points to your score. Nine points, that's a good day's work. Oh, there's one more thing you should know about the Earth's seasons. They're opposite in each hemisphere. That means when it's summer in the northern hemisphere, it's winter in the southern, and vice versa. Neat. It sure is neat, kid. All set, kid? All set. Okay, today we're taking a short hop to the moon. Blast off! There it is, kid. Straight ahead. That didn't take long, did it? That's because the moon is Earth's closest neighbor in space. For five points, about how far is the moon from Earth? Is it 100,000 miles? 240,000 miles? Or is the moon one million miles from Earth? Hey, kid, don't cheat. 240,000 miles. Pretty clever, kid. You got it, 240,000 miles. All right, you can have the points. Okay, wise guy, try this one on for size. Since the moon is so close to Earth, its gravity causes Earth's oceans to rise and fall twice each day. Now, for five more points, the rising and falling of the oceans is called what? Tides. Tides. Very good. You've doubled your score to ten points. I'll say one thing, kid. You sure keep me on my toes. Howdy, kid. Ready to go? Okay, blast off. Today, we're going to take a good look at the moon. The moon is the brightest object we can see from Earth. But the moon doesn't make its own light. It reflects light from something else. For six points, what is it? The sun. Excellent. Six points for you. Now, watch what happens as the moon orbits Earth. Just as we cast a shadow on a sunny day, so Earth casts a shadow into space. Once in a while, the moon passes through this shadow and is blacked out. For six points, what is this called? Lunar eclipse. Right. Lunar eclipse or eclipse of the moon. Six more points. Now, at other times, the moon passes precisely between the sun and Earth and casts its shadow on Earth. For six more points, what do we call this? Solar eclipse. You got it, solar eclipse. Well, three for three at six points each. That's 18 points, kid. give you a real good look at Jupiter today, kid. Let's head for the sky. Jupiter's surface is covered with pastel-colored stripes. Now, these are clouds, and within them, right here, is a dark, giant oval area. For five points, what is it called? Now, don't rack your brain for a fancy answer, kid. It's a real simple name. Great red spot. Great red spot. Hey, you're great too, kid. Five points. Now, you can pick up another five if you get the next one right. The great red spot is probably most like a storm, a continent, or an ocean. A storm. Hey, it's flying colors time. A storm, another right answer, and another five points. That's 10 points. Give me 10, kid. 
All right. Before we get started, let's go through the pre-flight checklist. Safety belt. Instruments. Engines. Pre-flight checklist is A-OK. -okay. Take her up, kid. Heading 199. Destination, the moon. Hold it steady right there, kid. That's a good angle. You see how the moon and the sun are on opposite sides of Earth? Whenever this happens, we can see the whole face of the moon lit up. Now for four points, what is this phase of the moon called? Right you are, buddy. Full moon. Four points. For five more points, tell me how long it is from one full moon to the next full moon. Is it one day, about 29 and a half days, or one year? About 29 and a half days. Right again, about 29 and a half days. Four and five makes nine points for today. Great scoring, kid, and great flying, too. Take us on home now. Howdy, kid. You ready? Let's go. Okay, blast off. Today, we're going to explore the fourth planet out from the sun, the one just past Earth, Mars. Mars has a nickname that comes from the color of the dust that covers its surface. For five points, what is Mars' nickname? You got it, the red planet, five points. Here's another one for four points. How big is Mars compared to Earth? Is it about twice as big, about half as big, or about the same size as Earth? Half as big, right again for four more points. Last one now for six points. Earth has a natural satellite named the moon that orbits it. Mars, too, has some natural satellites. How many? Is it two, four, or seven? Two. Well, you guessed right on that one. Two. Take the six points. Fifteen for the day. You know something, kid? You're not only smart, you're lucky.